My name is Simon Underwood and I'm the Principal of Corby Business Academy. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to this transition video which is being made available for new students who are going to arrive with us in September 2020. These are obviously strange times that we currently find ourselves in at the moment. So firstly, and probably most importantly, I hope you are all safe and well. Secondly, I hope you are taking advantage of all the hard work that's going in from primary colleagues to make sure that everybody has some learning whilst they're at home. Some of you may already be back in the school building, but that same concept still applies. Please maximise that time because it can only help you when you arrive with us in September. Throughout the video, you're going to hear from different members of staff who are going to talk you through what the academy looks like and hopefully answer any questions you might have whilst you're at home. Mrs. Thompson is our key stage three lead for transition across the academy. Mr. Hallam, who's head of year seven, and also Mr. Smith, who's in charge of behavior and safety across the building. He's gonna also give you a virtual tour. Before you start, I strongly advise you to follow our ethics and our school values of commit, believe, achieve. We truly think that if you follow these, you'll be successful throughout your time in secondary education. And in return for following those values, I promise you, you'll get all the care and the educational support you'll ever want at a secondary school. Okay, enough from me for now. I'm gonna hand over to the next member of staff. Hello Year 6, or should I say hello to our future Corby Business Academy Year 7 students. Also, hello to any parents and carers who may be watching along. My name is Mr Hallam and I'm the Head of Year 7, as well as a Teacher of PE at Corby Business Academy. I'm going to give you a little bit of a background about my role and why and how I'm there to support you. So my role as a Head of Year, first and foremost, is to make sure that your transition from primary to secondary is as smooth as possible as we want you to make a successful start. I will lead your tutor team, full of your tutors and other members of staff, in supporting you on a day-to-day basis. For example, in tutor time, I'll be providing you with resources and tasks to do in the shape of numeracy ninja, literacy tasks, quizzes, and an assembly slot at least once a week. I'm also there to support the year group in monitoring this behavior, its attendance, and also its progress. But really, I'm here as another person you can speak to to help solve any problems you've got. So throughout any day or any week and you're finding yourself struggling with something, please find me, talk to me, and I'll try to help you get through any issues that you are having. But we want you to make the best start possible with us at Corby Business Academy. I'm really looking forward to meeting you in September. However, for now, please stay safe and I'll see you soon. Hello, my name's Miss Thompson and I'm the Assistant Principal who oversees transition here at Corby Business Academy. Part of my job is to ensure that that transition is as smooth as possible in these strange times. You will shortly be hearing from some very key members of staff whose job it is to make that happen as well. Mr Underwood has already mentioned some, but in addition, you will hear from Mrs Lapsley, Mrs Dickinson, and Mrs Brown. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been in touch with all your primary schools to gather all relevant information about you, to make sure that we know everything about you before meeting you. This will ensure that the process is smooth for you. Over the next couple of weeks, you will receive a transition booklet, which will contain lots of information that you need to know about day-to-day -day life here at the Academy. It will answer many of the questions that you currently have, but if there are further questions that you do need answers to, please contact us. We are very much looking forward to meeting you in person as soon as possible. Take care. Welcome to all our new Year 7 cohort. My name is Mr Smith. I oversee behaviour within the Academy. To help you transition into our Academy, I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of the school. Please come in. This is our reception area where staff and guests sign in. Any students that arrive, they walk through our turnstiles and sign in. Please come with me and have a look at the academy. So this is our main central mall where you enter as you come into the academy. You'll notice that we have lockers 
So on your first day, you will be assigned a locker where you can keep all of your belongings. Here, we have our wellbeing office where the safeguarding team and links to year groups will be based. So if you are having any wellbeing issues that you'd like to discuss with our team, this is where you will come. Hi, Year 6. My name's Mrs Lapsley. I'm the Student Support Officer for Year 7, 8 and 9 and work as part of the Student Care Team. I'm here to help you settle into life at Corby Business Academy and help you with any concerns or worries you might have. I can't wait to meet you. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Dickinson. I'm the Senko at Corby Business Academy. That basically means if you struggle in school um, with different issues with your academics and things like that, then I'm here to help you. Um, I run the team of LSAs in the school. We're all really looking forward to meeting you when you come up in September and we're going to be here to help. Hi, so this is our hub what we call our SEND hub. This is available to students that need to just take a bit of time to calm down, might need a sensory break. Um, you would get issued a hub card, you'd come down here to have 10 minutes to just relax, calm down, talk to one of the LSAs, and then we'd get you back into your lessons. We also do all our interventions in here as well, and it's open at break and lunch time for students that struggle to go outside at break time. So as we move down the corridor, you'll see that we come to a male and female toilet area. We also have our screens on show that will show you the breaks and lunch times that you are meant to go on. It will also have all other relevant information throughout the day that you need to be aware of. In this area, we have two key bits of information for you. We have student services where if you're having any issues with your smart card or with putting money onto your account, you can come and speak to one of our members of staff. We also have a lost property area here, so if you have lost any of your belongings throughout the day, you can come and check at student services. Secondly, we also have here the IT department. So if you're having any technical issues with your login account or with the computers, you can come here and you can speak to one of our IT technicians and they'll be able to support you. At the very far end of the corridor, you will find our lovely restaurant area. Please follow me in and we can show you the process before you get in some break and lunch. When you enter the restaurant area, you have the option to line up on either side of the restaurant to collect your break and lunch. If you bring a packed lunch for your food, it all must be consumed within inside the restaurant. You also have the option to eat your food in our outside seating area where there are plenty more seats for you to sit at. When you get to the tills, pick up your tray and move forward around the till area. There's a great range of food and drink available for you to choose from and our friendly catering staff will help and support you with any decision making. Once you've collected your food, move round to the tills and you'll use your smart card to pay for your food. When you've finished eating, we always return any leftovers and our plates and knives and forks to our cleaning area. Next, I'd like to show you where students have their year group assemblies and some lessons. Welcome to the theatre. For your assemblies, students will enter the theatre in silence. They will also then find their tutor group and sit in the right row of the seating area. We've now moved up to the upper level of the academy. As you can see, our restaurant area is down below and we also have above our restaurant the library area that students can use during break and lunch. We have a nationally award-winning library and our fantastic librarians work really closely with members of the English department to provide an extra curriculum to give, that gives the students the opportunity to enjoy lots of fantastic reading. 
Now let's take a look at the six different faculties within the academy and the individual subjects that are taught within them. This is our AMID faculty. AMID stands for Art, Music and Industrial Design. Let's take a look inside. In AMID, students are really encouraged to explore their creative skills. We have a range of expert teachers that can help develop their skills in subjects such as art, design technology, media, music and photography. The AMID faculty is able to boast a wide range of amazing resources, just like this Apple Mac suite, where music students are able to edit their compositions that they have learned within their lessons. Opposite AMID, we have our special educational unit. I'm going to hand over to Miss Pullumby, who's going to show you around. Thank you. The unit provision supports children with special educational needs and has a wide range of facilities. Here are some of them. This is one of our classrooms that supports students with profound multiple learning difficulties. We have a wide range of facilities, including a physiotherapy area and a relaxation corner. Some of our students have access to a sensory circuit each morning. A sensory circuit is designed to alert, organise and relax the students so they're ready for their school day. Our students have access to a sensory room which is designed to stimulate the senses, create a relaxing environment and we use it for interventions. One of our newest facilities is this amazing outdoor area where our students can have their lessons and relax. Some of our unit classrooms are based out in mainstream, for example this classroom is based in Maid. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Brown, I'm Assistant Manager of the Unit at Corby Business Academy and I coordinate the transition for our Year 6s into the Unit. Um, I'll be in touch with you all at some point over the next couple of weeks um, and look forward to meeting you all. I hope you've enjoyed looking around the Unit provision. I'll hand back to Mr Smith, who's going to show you the rest of the school. Thank you. Let's have a look at some more faculties. We're now stood outside the MATE faculty. MATE stands for Maths and IT. Let's take a look. Within MATE we have a range of really experienced teachers that will be able to develop your skills and knowledge in some really important core subjects. Opposite our MATE faculty we have Communications, another one of our really important core faculties within the Academy. Let's come and take a look. Within the communication faculty, we have the subject of English and drama. We're able to boast an amazing drama studio, and students will be able to develop their knowledge in poetry and literacy. We've now come to our final two faculties, BHE and PNS. BHE stands for Business, Humanities and Ethics. Let's have a look. Within BHE, we offer a range of subjects from history, geography, business and modern foreign languages. It's a really successful department and it gives students some fantastic life opportunities for them to develop. Our final faculty to look at is PNS. PNS stands for Physical and Natural Sciences. Let's have a look. Within the PNS faculty, we cover a really wide range of subjects. We cover all of the sciences. We cover psychology, health and social care, and physical education. The PNS faculty also has some fantastic facilities, such as a dance studio and this amazing sports hall. The academy is also very lucky that it has seven fantastic IT suites. Students across all year groups are able to use this really new technology to support their learning. During break and lunch times, our students are able to access this AstroTurf to socialise and play some football. We've now come to the end of our virtual tour. I hope it's been useful and I hope you've really enjoyed seeing some of the amazing resources that the Academy has to offer. We're really looking forward to you joining us in the next academic year. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us through the website. Once again, thank you for joining me on this virtual tour and please take care. So that's the end of your virtual tour. 
I hope you found it informative and it supports with your transition process when we see you in September. Now, if yourself or any of your parents and carers have any further questions, you can obviously contact us at the school directly. This can be done via the CBA Year 7 admissions email that can also be found on our website. Please look out for future information coming through, which includes a starter booklet and some work to help you with the transition over the summer. That includes a big read and I really want you to get stuck into that. Okay, that's enough from us. Please stay safe and we look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye-bye.